Welcome back to What Are Nibs with General Disturbance. This is a Fifi, Fifi La Pew Pew. It's a 105 LEPH 18B2, the French tier 5 premium SPG. And this one is located on the north spawn of Abbey under the command of Cremash 72. Wow, that was a mouthful. Got it out just in time. Battle started. Well, this RT is the bane of most tankers' lives because it's very, very fast at firing. 7.85 seconds is the reload, and it's a 105mm light field howitzer, which it has no stun, but it's mounted on, on top of a Char B1. That's the French tank that was used fairly successfully in the Battle of Stone. 140 hits he took. He took out 13 tanks, 11 which were Panzer Mark 3s and 2 of which were Panzer Mark 4s. None of those tanks could take him out. In fact, they even tried using a French anti-tank gun, a 47mm gun to try and take him out and they failed with that as well. Nice round out. That's a hit. 155 um, hit points. Now, he's got an alpha damage of 410, penetrating 53 millimeters of armor. He definitely hit those guys, but he didn't pen them. Otherwise, he would have done maximum damage. Now, if he hits that 12... Oh, that was a penetrating shot. No doubt about that. He hit the rear of him, went straight through the armor, but it was a low roll, so unfortunately, he survived. But Cremarge is going to try and get a shot on that uh, 40 TP. It's a tier 7 game, by the way, if you didn't know. And he's tier 5 RT, so he's going to earn extra XP for all the higher tier tanks he hits. Trying to line up a shot on that 40 TP. Rounds out. Good hit. 102. Now, can he deal with these guys over here? Difficult shots, but that's what the Fifi's for. Yeah, look at that. Took out the Sturg, no problem. Just the tiniest sliver of the tank showing, but he still got it. Now, two tanks in the Abbey grounds. Unfortunately, one of our teammates is getting rather bullied in there. But Cremarge fires around in and gets a hit on the enemy for 89. Unfortunately, we lost our teammate, but the T20 in there, he doesn't really want to poke out and take shots at us because he probably realizes that he's going to get hit if he does but it's very difficult shooting through those arches okay on this side of the battlefield most of the enemy is staying RT safe at the moment they're hugging the walls except for that KB2 who's right out in the open behind that rock but Cremarch is going for that one the other one the Achilles he's seen the KB2 now dining in rounds out good hit Solid hit for 70. Go for it again. Rounds out. Is he still there? Yes, he is. <laughs> it's an old joke, but it's good. Is he still there? Yes, he is. <laughs> oh, dear. We could keep doing this all day. Rounds out. Is he still there? Yes, he is. He's getting pretty sick and tired by now. These shells coming in. Ah, oh, that shell fell short. That's unfortunate. Might have given them the chance to pull away. We went long there. Oh, we got somebody there. And that could be the T-67 or it could be the KV-3 behind the KV-2. Oh, he's been spotted. AMD. Dialing in and... Stay still, you little... Just misses it. He's coming this way. He's seen us. He's trying to run away, actually. Or is he? No, he's decided to change his angle. <laughs> he gave his ass to us, and we put a shell up it. Okay, KB-85. Dialing in. Fired snapshot. Oh, we hit our own teammate. We hit the Panzer 4H instead. Luckily, we didn't damage him, though. Otherwise, that would have been expensive otherwise. He's still trying to get that KV-85. It's going to disappear any second. Or is it? No, because we've got a teammate there. Just missed him. The great thing about the FIFA is you can reload very quickly. Okay, that one's down. Now, can we get this chaffy? Round out. Oh, kill shot! 
That's three kills now he's got. And here comes the Super Hellcat. Now it's pretty sure he'll see us very, very shortly. Lining up a shot. Good hit, but he knows where we are. Auto aimed on. He's coming this way. One good hit. And he tries to ram us, and we both die. Yep. If you ram a heavy tank with a light tank, you will die. And that earns him a Kamikaze medal because the Super Hellcat is a higher tier than the Fifi. There's only two left on his team, though. T29 and the other one is that SU-100. Now, has he got the 122mm gun? I'm just trying to see. No, he's got the 100mm gun. Well, I'm pretty sure that the enemy is going to try and shoot from that area over to the west. He's been spotted. They will probably try and get a reset. Ah, uh, they're trying, but they're missing. He's getting behind that rock. He's almost capped out. And they've done it! And, well, that's amazing. He lost hit points on that shot from the T20. But they still capped out and they finished the game with a victory. So let's have a look at the end of battle stats. And it's an ace tanker for Kremarch 72 in the 105 left H 18B2. Fifi La Piu Piu. He managed to get a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got 21 in that one. And he also got a fighter badge for getting at least four kills. He got four exactly. A gauze medal for doing more damage than 10 times the hit points for his own vehicle. And he got an eye for an eye for killing the tank that killed him. Well, of course, they killed each other because it was a ram. And he got a kamikaze as well because he killed a higher tier tank by ramming him. And, uh, yeah, that was pretty amazing. That uh, T-78 driver, he really should look up the the weight of vehicles in the uh, Wikipedia. Because I don't think he realized that the Super Hellcat is actually quite light compared to a Char B-1. If you ram a Char B-1, you are going to come off the worst because it's a much bigger, more massive vehicle. So uh, let's have a look at team score. Well, there you go. He is the highest damage in the game. 2,603 hit points overall. And the next high scorer was the T20, who tried that reset. 1,704 hit points. And after that, it was the M24 Chaffee, the one that he killed with 1,227. When it came to kills, it was the Type 64 who did the best. He got five kills. Kremarch got four. The T20 got three. And then there's a bunch of tanks with two kills apiece. And when it came to base XP, it was Kremarch who did the best. 1,205. And the reason for that, Tier 5 RT in a Tier 7 game. He was hitting higher tier opponents and getting the better of them. 744 goes to the Type 64. 556 to the KV-85. He fired 22 shots, got 15 direct hits, 4 penetrations. Yes, one of those penetrations, I'm pretty sure, was that 12 ton. He went right through his rear and gave him a low roll, but kept him alive. And 13 splash, damage of 2,603 hit points, of which 1,704 were at more than 300 meters. He received one hit. It was from that Super Hellcat. It was a penetration. Yeah, it's a 90 millimeter round. It's just going to go straight through. And 10 enemy vehicles damaged, 4 killed. On a premium count, he earned 39,052 credits, got 20,795 from the personal missions payout on all the ops. And after ammunition and repair, he still walked away with 75,517 credits. Got 1,205 XP times two for the first victory, 723 for this being a premium vehicle, took away 4,339 experience points altogether. He says, I don't know what's wrong with me today. Well, I don't know if this is anything wrong because you actually did very, very well. I mean, best of all, and the funniest kill was probably that Panha where you shot him right up the ass because he probably didn't see you, actually. I'm, I'm now revised my opinion. If he'd seen you, he probably would have gone after you. But he probably would have realized shortly after he did that his gun just is not really up to it. But uh, he wouldn't stay where he did. And with his rear to you, uh, you know, bending over and waiting for the shell to come into his uh, posterior. Yes, that was, must have been a lovely experience for him. But it was a good game. So if you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification button so you can get alerted when a new video comes out. And Merry Christmas, everyone.